Dr. Biology here, and this is the GCSE Combined Science Biology Foundi Foundation Tier Paper 2 Predictions. So, Paper 2, when is it? It's going to be on Monday, 9th of June in the morning, and it will be for a total of 1 hour 15 minutes. Okay, so before I talk about the predictions, remember you must revise everything. So uh, even though I'm predicting, do not just revise what I'm going to tell you. Two past papers, really important. So if you do some uh, knowledge revision, then back it up with some uh, looking at topics or past papers. Um, and they can be found on drbiology.uk. I've got lots of foundations here, questions there for you. Learn the keywords. So keywords are very important. So maybe you could use flashcards. I use Quizlet sometimes to help uh, practice those keywords that I need to know for each particular topic. Uh, know your command words. So things like what does describe or explain or suggest or calculate mean? And fifthly, never, ever, ever give up. I always tell my students to answer every single question. Do not leave things blank. OK, you must attempt every single question. You never know. You might get an extra mark here or there that will improve your grade. So as I just said, predictions, uh, these are predictions. So what that means is that I've looked at pre previous exam papers from previous years and looked at things that haven't come up more recently. It doesn't mean that this is the only things that will come up. There could be other things that I miss. But so do not just revise these topics. OK, paper two, stuff that may come up. Right. Well, the first thing is hormones in human reproduction. So that's the menstrual cycle that has not come up for quite some time. So do know about the menstrual cycle. OK. And all the hormones involved in that contraception. So you did. A, uh, you looked at different contraceptive methods. Probably they'll give you a data led question. So what that means is they'll give you lots of information and you've got to work out the answer. So for that, you will need to find some past paper questions. You can find that in my website, drbiology.uk. Human nervous system. So uh, the nerve pathways. So, um, for example, if there's a stimulus, let's say a bee landed on your skin. So the stimulus is the bee and then you can see it or you can feel it through receptors in your skin. And then it moves through a sensory neuron through to your central nervous system and then back to a motor neuron to your muscles. I'd also learn about reflex actions. DNA and genome, so they love you to know what uh, DNA is and genes and chromosomes and what the genome is. Sexual and asexual reproduction, so remember sexual reproduction, you need a sperm and an egg and gametes have to be made, whereas asexual reproduction is to do with clones producing genetically identical offspring. Meiosis, so how does meiosis halve the number of chromosomes? OK, so, for example, uh, sperm and egg have half the number of chromosomes to an adult body cell. Evolution. So th th this is Darwin's theory of natural selection. And also you need to know about fossils. There are three ways that fossils are made. And you need to understand how that gives evidence to evolution. Selective breeding, so choosing the best characteristics of a particular animal or plant, and you must breed over many generations. Abiotic and biotic factors, so that's related to ecology. So abiotic means the non-living parts, so things like rainfall, pH of soil, uh, sunlight, temperature, whereas biotic factors are the uh, living things. So, um, for example, competition with other things, with, with other animals uh, or plants for food, for shelter, for mates. Food chains, predator prey. So food chains uh, know how to label a food chain and be able to show a food chain and also know about predator prey. And again, you probably have to uh, look at some graphs and work out what's going. So describing and explaining what, what happens in a graph. Carbon cycle. This hasn't come up for a bit. This could be a six marker. So uh, again, maybe uh, be able to label a carbon cycle, be able to know the general process of um, 
how carbon is taken out of the atmosphere by photosynthesis, okay, and how it is uh, released by respiration by animals and plants and also microbes. And then uh, ecology deforestation. So the pros and cons of deforestation in tropical regions and also how would we maintain biodiversity. Also, remember your required practicals. There are two required practicals for paper two. Okay, first one, and this one did not come up last year, was measuring reaction times. So I will put a um, I will put the address of this in the text box. So dropping a ruler and measuring measuring the reaction time to catch it. And the second one is measuring population sizes. So this is using quadrats. And for example, you might have sampled daisies in your field, for example. Just remember, paper one, some paper one stuff does come up in paper two. OK, so uh, things like photosynthesis and respiration. So just remind yourself of those things and watch this video. Also, I've got, if you haven't watched it already, my 10 top tips for doing really well in your examination. OK, so I hope you found that really useful. I really hope you do very well. Um, I sure you, I'm sure you will be great. Um, please do use, use my resources. The best way to find videos is through drbiology.uk and go to the GCSE biology playlists. OK, I'll see you soon. And good luck, everybody. Bye for now.